Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. PK Gam here going to the Dusty Dune Galaxy for another purple coin challenge in the bedroom. The most sexy place in the entire Comet Observatory. As you can see, purple coins in the desert. Oh yeah, this is gonna be exciting. This is actually one of the more interesting ones because there's a lot of ways to instantly die like by those thwomps or by falling into the uh, uh, bottomless quicksand there that's moving. Which reminds me, quicksand is actually not as dangerous as they make it out to be in like movies and video games and stuff like that. As a matter of fact, these signs appear to be floating for some reason. I don't know why. But, oh, there's a coin right in the middle of... Uh, coiny coin. I think, oh, like, there we go. I can just walk to grab it. Grrr, PK Gam. Uh, what you got to say about this twister? Uh, yes, I knew about that, but as I was saying about the quicksand, quicksand is actually a lot denser than your body is. So basically, you float in quicksand. Because it's like, it's kind of like oil and water uh, that you just float right on top of it. So it's, it's more messy than it is dangerous. Unless you keep digging yourself in purposefully or something like that. But quicksand definitely got a bad reputation for that. In fact, I could imagine people getting a delightful mud bath treatment from quicksand or something. So I don't see why it got such a bad rep. I think it's just a play on people's fears of drowning or something like that. But as you can see, uh, you can even fly right above the quicksand just as Mario does. Isn't that awesome? And there's a purple coin on top of this thwomp. So you want to do one of these dealios, backflip and then spin and kick off him and <clears throat> I should say wall jump off him and then spin back on top of him like so. Um, I'm missing a couple, oh, I need to go across the sand with the twister and go in there and spin, woo, coiny, 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 there we go. And just to make sure I didn't miss anything, I'll check with the first person view. You don't, this is the kind of star that you don't want to have to go back to collect any coins with. you got to make sure that you get them right on the first try. Because if you have to go back, that only increases the chances that you're going to die by falling in the quicksand. <clears throat> well, I shouldn't say it increases your chances. It, it's just that you'll be around the quicksand a lot more. And yes, I aim for this wider platform instead of the thinner platform on that long jump. Just to make it a bit safer. This right here is pretty dangerous. Not gonna lie. Just collect coin. One coin at a time, please, folks. Yes. Nice and slow. If you try to collect more than that, you're risking falling into the quicksand pretty quickly. So I wouldn't recommend it. Just one coin at a time there, and you'll be a very happy plumber. So grab those, and now walk down this wall. You'll see a coin right here. Oh, wait, it's, it's floating in the middle of this? Oh, wait, there we go. Let me... Oh, it just flipped me around. Never mind. And, uh... Ooh, what do I want to do here? Do I want to long jump over there? Yeah! There we go. Uh, I should probably get this coin right away, because I'll probably forget it once I pwn these posts on uh, the other side to make them pop out of this side to get those coins up there. So I might as well get them now. Um, let's see. There's a coin here. I guess I'll have to backflip and spin to get that one. I did it off camera, evidently, just slightly. Are you digging in the bricks now? Seriously, man. Do you know where to dig for treasure? You're, what, uh, you're just going to dig yourself into some quicksand. And we all know in the video games and in the movies, quicksand is incredibly dangerous. Uh, what were you thinking, man? Anyway, get those coins. Round pound here. You just grab those coins. And now you're going to have to spin right at the edge and go above the quicksand and grab these coins. Duck and dodge to get to the edge here. I shouldn't say duck and dodge. We've uh, swerved to the left because if you try to go for the platform on the other side, you'll more than likely go in the quicksand itself. And at this point, you really don't want that to happen now, do you? There's a couple purple coins in there. I'll just grab these purple nurples and the ground pound back to safe land. And did I miss anything over there? Hey! Ha-ha! 
quicksand even kills dead things. Ha 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 ha. Take that, dry bones. Um, and oh my goodness, I am not liking the looks of these. I think I have to do like one of these dealios to spin, I mean, spin, yeah, mid, in mid-air above the quicksand dangerously. Um, I need this tornado to get these up there. And wait till I get to the edge and then spin. Just, just one, two, three. And ground pound here just to get out of it. Is there any more? No, I don't see any more. Okay, flip around, camera. I don't want to walk myself into the quicksand right now. I've gone too far to die. Alright, 79 coins. Oh, these these uh, little twisters here have floating debris in them. So you don't want to get touched by those spiky balls that are floating around in them. Uh, I was only able to get two coins in that run. Just jump over the debris and into the twister. Once you do that, you won't have any trouble, or so you won't have to worry about getting hit by them. It's when you try and get those four coins in the middle there, that's extremely dangerous because those, uh, whatever the heck is in there, uh, it looks like spike balls or like tumbleweed or something like that, like really spiky tumbleweed that might just flop you right into the quicksand by hitting you into it. And there's a switch up there, but I'm almost positive there's a couple coins around this edge. On my way back, I'm going to get those four coins in the middle. No, wait, maybe I have, maybe I should get them now because this might be a timed platform. Okay, 90 coins. So I, I'm gonna get, yeah, I'm gonna get those four coins right now. <clears throat> right now. So. Uh, uh, oh man, I do not like this. Uh, watch the trash. Watch that trash, mister. Okay, now hit the switch. Now you gotta make a mad dash to go to the other side, but grab that coin on top of it first. The last five coins are on the other side and on top of those platforms, so. Run for it, Mario! I'm just gonna spin right through here, round pound, just to make it safer. And as you know, I gotta rush to the other side, so I'm just gonna long jump across these things as fast as I possibly can. And spin over here, yeah! That's awesome, baby! And the time is almost out for me, I think, maybe, I'm not sure. I, I best not waste much time because the last three coins are within my grasp and the star appears right down below me. Collect the star and get out of this desert H-E double hockey sticks. As I said before, when I spell it, I'm serious. Grab the star. Okie dokie. Over at the Fleet Freeze Flame Galaxy here, there is a secret star. Let's go find that critter, shall we? Uh, once again, my memory fails me, so I forgot where that secret star is. This is the frozen peak of Baron Burr, but I'm sure I'll be able to find it, well, eventually. I hope. Uh, I don't think it's anywhere up there. In fact, I think it's towards that right route that I took when I did the purple coin challenge a little while ago. Um, don't tell me I'm gonna have to catch that dang penguin over there. Ugh, I will have to catch the penguin. Why must you be mean to me, penguin? I caught you before... I Old man! I'll show you who's an old man. I'll show you who's the master of ice skating. Oh, yeah. Woo! Look at me. I should be in the Olympics. He's going to flop on over to the other side. Look at the penguin go, but I'm a lot faster than him, especially when I take the inside route. And I hope I don't grab the penguin by the butt. Oh, I grabbed the penguin by the butt. Why does Mario keep doing that? Oh. That is just nasty of you, Mario. Anyway, yeah, he just, he's just not good for the wildlife. I mean, he, he just flattens turtles. He, he anally rapes bunnies and penguins with his hands. It's just nasty. This, this is not a kid-friendly game here, folks. Anyway, you can also kill these Goombas here, which I would assume is the equivalent of Mario's wildlife. And, uh, yeah! I mean, that's another kind of uh, thing that Mario flattens. I don't know, Goombas don't seem to be the most civilized of critters. I mean, they always seem to be attacking them. There's very few that are actually uh, helpful to Mario or that run their own shops, like in Super Mario RPG. But 
You n I mean, you never know, though. I could just be uh, racist against Goombas or something like that. That, I, that I'm stereotyping them. Anyway, I think the secret star that I'm looking for is up here and around this edge. Um, this, like I said before, this might be the area uh, that I was here before with the purple coins, if you remember. Uh, last, wait, two part. Yeah, oh, wait, it was the last part, excuse me. And this, this might be where the um, uh, snowballs will thrive. That I said that there was snowballs missing uh, when I came here the first time. Because I do clearly remember that there were snowballs flying. Yeah, oh, they're not snowballs, pardon me. They're rocks. <laughs> Big difference, actually. But they are rolling down the hill and are in your way. So, Oh, and you can uh, get some star bits from those rocks if you dare. I don't recommend getting star bits from those rocks because... If you miss your spin when trying to destroy those rocks, it's pretty much over for you, and you're going to fall down into the great abyss below, and I don't think you want to do that when you've come this far. And I'm just going to hop my way right up here, and grab another, whoa, don't do that. I'm going to grab another fire flower. I think I need that. Wait, I'm going to kill you guys. Can't I kill you guys? Pretty sure I... Oh, they just uh, boost their self away from me. Oh, whatever. I'm going to wait for a rock to fall off the cliff, and then I'm going to long jump over this eye, and duck and cover over here. Holy poopers! That's the easiest way that I figured out how to get through there. And burn this snowman to a crisp, and I just noticed I didn't even have to race over here because there was a fire flower to that other side, so that other flower, fire flower was completely pointless. Uh, I have no idea what that was there for, so... Oh my goodness! Oh! So close to dying. I do not want to die. I'm too young to die, even though I was called an old man by that penguin. And there is the secret star of the area where the purple coins were and that I jumped off of. And I think that about does it for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later. Toodoo!